Kay here and Mr. Barber and I we are reading for you today today a book Banjo's Animal Tales. There's four parts to it so I'm going to do it one four books in it so I'm going to do one at a time. First book is Fur and Feathers. The emus formed a football team up Walgett Way. Their dark brown sweaters were a dream, but kangaroos would sit and scream to watch them play. Now, Butterfingers, they would call, and such like names. The emus couldn't hold the ball, they had no hands, but hands aren't all. In football games. <clears throat> A match against the kangaroos they played one day. The kangaroos were forced to choose some wallabies and wallaroos that played in grey. The rules that in the west prevail would shock the town, for when a kangaroo set sail, an emu jumped upon his tail and fetched him down. A whistler duck as referee was not admired. He whistled so incessantly the team rebelled and up a tree he soon retired. The old marsupial captain said, It's do or die. So down the ground like fire he fled and le le leaped upon an emu's head and scored a try. Then shouting, keep it, keep it on the toes, the emus came. Fierce as the flooded bogan flows, they laid their four foulmen out in rows and saved the game. On native pear and darling pea, they dined that night, but one man was absent. The Whistler Duck, the referee, he had taken flight.